हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज फॉर ई फ्रेमवर्क इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉग इन सिस्टम विथ डेटा बेस इन द बेसिक टैम्पलेट प्रोवाइडेड बाय ई फ्रेमवर्क वी हैव अ लॉग इन सिस्टम बट दैट लॉग इन सिस्टम यूज इज द डेमो डेटा सो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्लेस दैट डेमो डेटा with an actual mysql database and see how the login system works okay so what are the changes we are going to do we are going to rename the old model so e framework provided a model called user i have just renamed it to user_old so this is the demo data which is there right and this model is using this demo data for the execution purpose in its methods right so what we are going to do we are going to go away with this de uh, demo data and then we are going to use the interaction with the actual database okay next we are going to create a table tbl_user underscore user and then we are going to generate an active record for that table okay so using gii tool what i have done i have created this active record yeah before that actually i have created the table the tbl_user underscore user. so okay so this is the table which i have created yeah so this is the table which i have created so you which has columns as id username password auth key and access token i am going to discuss about them during the tutorial okay and this is the active record which is being generated for that table using the uh, code generation tool by e framework one key point to note here is that this active record is implementing the identity interface so any class which is providing the identity information in e framework has to implement the identity interface and what what are the methods that we have to implement so methods are find find identity find identity by access token get id then get auth key and validate auth key so these functions are implemented over here so get auth key get id so this uh, what what is the unique id that we are returning it is the id of the record in the database okay then validate auth key then find identity and find identity by access token okay apart from that we have put some rules over here so username and password are required right and we have defined a public a variable over here dollar raw password see this password in the database is not the actual password we are going to store the hash in the database and this is because of the security reason you could not store actual password in the database it's a bad practice so on the form we need a field into which user provides the input so that field is raw password then this is the unique validation for the username so username should be unique in the database so we are applying the unique validator on username using the target class as user because this is mapped to the user table in the database okay so now before we log in into the system right we have to first create the users in the system right so for that what i have done i have created a con i have created an action in the site controller which is action register so this function is rendering the sign up form and we are passing the model to this form and what is the model 
model is the user active record you can use a different model over here like sign up form you can use and you can have the fields which are required for registration into that model but for the sake of this tutorial i have used user active record only so let's go to sign up dot php okay so here what we have done we have started this active form widget over here then we have the username field and the raw password field which we have discussed while uh, discussing about the user active record and this is of type password input so let's look at the output on the browser yeah one more thing i have added this link uh, sign up link in the top navigation and this is actually in uh, views layouts main.php so here i have added the condition that if the user is guest then show this sign up link else don't show it so if we click on this sign up link okay so this is the sign up form i have kept it very simple you can add, you can add the fields as per your requirement and if, the, if there are many fields which you have to add on this form then you can uh, have a separate model as we discussed like sign up form okay so here if i click on sign up it gives me validation error that username cannot be blank and password cannot be blank reason being in the model we have the validation rule as username and raw password are required so that's why we are getting the error now let's say uh, yeah i have already created a user called msinghai right now let's check this unique validation i am providing username as msinghai password and then i click on sign up so we get the validation error that this username has already been taken okay how this has how how we have achieved this so here we have load the post data into the model so raw password and username are set into the model then we set the password so i would discuss about it then we generate the auth key and then we are doing the validation so when this method is called right these rules are executed as we discussed in previous tutorials as well right so here this unique validator fails because uh, msinghai is already existing into the database so the flow would not enter here and sign up form is displayed with the error okay now let's enter a valid user so i am just saying harry and password i am providing abc123 and i am clicking on sign up so we have got the flash message over here you have signed up successfully please log in and we are on the login screen because when the model is saved successfully we are setting the flash in the session right and then we are redirecting to the login page and on the login screen what we have done is we have checked for the flash key success and if it is there in the session we are showing that flash message and right now i have just commented this demo data stuff over here okay so we are now on the login screen so here i am going to enter harry and password abc123 now you have to select this checkbox remember me if you want that when you close the browser and you open it again you are still logged in into the system how does that work i would discuss about it but this is for that purpose now if, if you click on login right so we are successfully logged in into the system so one point which i would like to discuss is so when we are creating the user right we load the post data into the model then we are setting the password so what we are doing here we have the raw password with us right here we are using a 
inbuilt function provided by e framework generate password hash what it does it returns the hash for the password that user has entered so we are setting the password over here next point is we are generating an auth key right so for that as well we are using an inbuilt function provided by e framework generate random string and then we are entering the we are setting the auth key okay so if we check the database so we have the username this is the hash for the password this is the auth key which is generated now coming to the login part okay so this is the action that we have right so we are instantiating the login form over here then we are when we are clicking on submit the post data is loaded into the model so username and password is loaded into the model and then we call the login function so let's see the login function now so here in this login function what we are doing we are calling dollar this validate so we are calling the validate function so what the what does this validate function do it won't it would execute these rules so username and password required remember me is boolean okay now password for password we have called this function validate password function so let's see what does this function do okay one point to mention over here is one way to define the rules is like this so you are saying that okay username and password for them apply the required validator and another way is you can call a function as well so here we are calling the validate password function so we are passing the attribute which is password and then we can pass params as well okay so now let's see what happens inside this function so we are just checking over here that if there are no errors then we get the user so what is done inside this function so if this user is false then get the user by username so we are calling this function over here so our username is let's say harry right so we get the active record corresponding to harry and we are setting it over here and then we are returning the user so we have the user over here and we call the validate password function and we pass the password to the function so in this function we are using the valid inbuilt validate password function provided by the e framework so what what this uh, what this function do we pass the password that is provided by the user and this is the hash key so this function would verify the password against the hash and if the password is correct it would return true else return false and the result is written from the validate password function if the validation pass that is then then it's fine otherwise we would add the error incorrect username or password so this is how this validate password function works so coming back over to the login function so assuming this validation pass right then we are calling the login function which is there inside the e2 web user and we are passing the identity and the remember me remember me option selected by the user right and user would be logged in into the system but assuming this validate fails then false is written and the appropriate error would be displayed to the user so this is how you can use the existing login system provided by e framework and change it to uh, use the database table and the active record that's all for this tutorial i hope this tutorial is useful to you in case you have any questions you can post them in the comment section or you can drop us an email if you like the video 
please don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you very much